Yeah, I ready to be a whole hot mom. Mmm, be like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Welcome back. Why do I sound like that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, thank you guys for being here. And you can go ahead and just hit the subscribe button. And those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome. It's like, like this is like a beginner's video because I did not know what I was doing so much. So if you want to see how I achieve this as a beginner, let's just get into the video. Okay, so I have my hair braided and my edges gelled on under the wig cap. So I'm just going in with the spray and trying to get the glue tacky at this point. So I actually took off the wig to start over and I just wanted to show you guys the two clips on the right on how I at least remove my lace. But the image on the left is the method I'm going with with just the cap and not the ball cap method because it did get a bit messy and I didn't want to post something looking all messy. Now that the spray is tacky, I'm just sticking the wig down and going back and forth with the spray and the blow dryer to make sure the wig is secure. So usually I like taking the comb and pushing the hair outwards onto the hairline. It kind of gives it a more realistic look. That's kind of just my preference. And also I kind of try to start forming the baby hairs at this point. Since it's like tacky in the front still, that just works for me. So I'm just taking the mousse now to lay my edges to make them a little bit more neater and more defined so I can just basically set it. And I'm actually using a spoolie here to define the edges. So I'm tying them down now so they can just set in place for when I'm ready to take it off. So hey guys, if you're still at the point of this video, please just give it a thumbs up while you're watching. And remember to just hit this subscribe button right here. Look at, look at it. Is it here? Is it here? Can you just hit the subscribe button for me? And you know you're gonna come back, so just hit the subscribe button.
hey there again so if you see me looking off every now and again don't mind me i'm just kind of watching the tv but still trying to do the makeup and guys if you like this video so far just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel you can go ahead now and hit that subscribe button below also you can turn on your notification bell just to keep posted to what i have going on on my channel do not worry that you can see that hanging lash there i actually have to to go back in to stick it down i'm just waiting for the glue to dry a bit so <laughs> avoid that please so i'm just gonna go over my hair with the flat iron right now and I'm just going to give you guys a few specs on the wig. It will be linked in the description box below, so no worries. So the wig actually came looking all yellow. And it came with some lashes. The lashes I actually have on in this look. These are the lashes. It's actually really super soft. And I actually used some shimmering light shampoo, the blonde one, on this. Um, I actually left the purple on the shampoo on some spots too much which is why you see the purple here but I'm totally fine with that um, to see a video on how I accomplish the look for this wig just let me know in the comment section below and it's like really super soft it's easy to work with I did end up plucking the the wig a little bit just a little bit and change the hairline up a bit I'm actually looking for my comb like every time I need something like need it so the purple you're seeing right here is the perfect example when I left the shampoo on too long in that spot but I did purposely leave it on the ends because I wanted it from like silver into that lilacish look but I'm just gonna go over with the flat iron over the whole unit just to refresh it again it does shed slightly nothing too big to talk about um i just love it like i don't really have no complaints other than the pattern space for the wig it's like just up to here so it's like this much guys i will not mislead you it's like really nice and i paid 149 for it yes just going to turn around for you guys to see. Alright, so I'm done with the wig. This is the finished look. Um, I probably will put some curls in the wig the next time just to try and see what a different look would be like. I will post pictures on my social media. If you um, would like to see those pictures, you can follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook. It will be linked in the description box below. Please be sure to subscribe so you can stay posted or stay updated for the videos. I do have more hair reviews coming because I believe in using buying affordable hair. And yeah. So... Thank you guys so much for watching and remember to subscribe. I mean, right here. You're just right here. And remember to give this video a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Like, truly. Y'all are the ones that's making me keep going. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 I, I sound like I'm talking to a baby, but I'm not. Anyway.